Joining me right now is Russell Investment Senior Portfolio Manager, Kevin Divney. Great to see you, Kevin. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. How would you characterize the earnings season so far? It's very good if you look at companies that have exposure to the U.S. economy. When you've seen negative surprises, it's typically been China-related. And what's been interesting is some of the cyclical forces, Facebook last week with the ad spend, are looking very good. Also, U.S. consumer, consumption, confidence is still there. So we've had a, re a revision down in expectations. And now companies, if they beat by a little, they're seeing their stocks perform better than they have in about the last 18 months. Do, do you worry that a slowdown is on the horizon? There's a global slowdown. I see a deceleration in corporate earnings, which is well telegraphed. That's been priced into the market. That was what the fourth quarter was about. But a lot of that was probably an overshoot, just what you said. The January market was up quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but After a tough December, though. After a tough December. But I think there's two forces at work. There's the corporate deceleration, which is you know, consensus, everybody knows that. And the U.S. consumer cycle is behind the corporate cycle. So that lag in what's happening in the corporate world, I think will keep aggregate GDP looking very robust in 2019. So what market are you most worried about in terms of its impact on the U.S.? You mentioned China. We're seeing a bit of a slowdown there. And then there's Europe, where there's lots of messiness there. Do you worry that those issues are going to impact the U.S. at some point? I've been a little fascinated the lack of focus on Brexit, because that is the next big exogenous potential shock yeah. and it seems not to be getting the headlines that it deserves there doesn't seem to be a plan <laughs> and the and it's you incredible see, it is incredible and you heard um, you heard bank CEOs in Europe talking about um, companies cutting back spending making all these contingency plans which means spending more money pressure on margins pressure on capex and that's the part that the market's really been not really pricing is more about the china and the corporate deceleration here in the u.s so let's talk about china for a moment the deadline is march 1st to, for a deal president trump and chinese president xi jinping expect to meet them to meet rather over the next couple of weeks in, in hopes of finalizing something how important is this this clock is ticking toward the march 1st deadline is this going to be a catalyst for markets, and do you expect a deal? I do expect a deal. It will be a catalyst. I think the majority of market participants have been pricing in the negative, and now we have a risk to the upside when a deal is done. But paradoxically, there's a couple of things going on with the, with the Chinese story. In headlines, it looks negative and it goes back and forth. If you listen to some U.S. corporate CEOs, they are still investing. Uh, I heard one CEO from a consumer products company say recently that the conditions to do business in China are getting better. Mm. So I think that the people on the ground in China understand that. Yeah, Another that. CEO of a healthcare company made this comment that there is no substitute for our product. So China does need to import a lot of our high tech, not just uh, software, but also some of the hardware that they cannot manufacture themselves. Yeah, we got great jobs numbers on Friday. Was that a catalyst for you to put new money to work? What kind of a 2019 are you expecting for stocks? We're overweight. They can Consumer. We overweight energy because of the overshoot in, um, in in December. The jobs report is just the foundation of this economy is so robust. It took the headline risk. It took the government shutdown. And the confidence to hire is also why I don't see a recession in 2019. It's very hard to have a recession when unemployment continues to go down. Yeah. And the big part of that is people are coming back into the workforce. Labor force participation is going to keep on driving this going forward. And that's the part that I don't see how you get in a recession in 2019 when gotta that's happening. Yeah. Gotta, and gotta wages. Wages keep on going up as wages well. Very robust. Again, Very robust. Again, we saw that on yeah. Friday. Kevin, it's great to get your insights. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Kevin Divney joining us there.